This is too bouncy. What? Just walk. It's recording. Oh! <laughs> what did you think I was doing? You're crazy. So, it's actual morning time. We get to run during the daylight. Except for it's a little foggy. Megan and I are at uh, Bridge the Gap, Quincy. So this uh, fits nicely into the random run a half marathon in Missouri and Illinois, Nebraska, Iowa, Kansas. Next year we'll do other states, but that's what we're doing this Crystal year. Crystal has one in Arkansas for you. Our friend Crystal has one in Arkansas for us. So, <laughs> but we're all uh, checked in. Show them we're, the fog. we're pumped. Show them. Ready to go. Show them how foggy it is. Yeah, it's a, it's a little foggy. Yeah, we get to run, hopefully <laughs> down this hill. I don't know, we, we're going into this kind of blind, so we'll see. What? All right, we're down here to start of the race. Excited? Woo! It's very hot. Okay, we're gonna go stand in all those people. Somewhere, yeah. There's like 2,000 people here, about. 1900 of them are doing the 5k, I think. It's really loud. One mile in. We're running on clouds. It's kind of neat. I don't know if this counts as the Illinois run because uh, we're technically Missouri right now. So we'll see. Feeling all right. Left ankle's a little tight. I got my friend here keeping us safe though. Thank you. Say he's doing a great job. Mile two. Good morning. I think they uh, changed the air in Illinois into a uh, nice cold tomato bisque. Maybe. It's thick. Wet. Oh well. Uh, God's friends keeping us safe. Thank you, sir. Mile three. Nice and flat here. Still hot. Still wet. But doing all right. Ankle feels better. We'll Four mile mark. A little off on the pace. Watch Ding 750. Turn turn around, go back for a little bit. Got some more people keeping us safe. So, not too bad though. We'll see. There she is. How you feel, babe? Yeah, babe. Mile five. Fun fact, I was on pace, but uh, I can't, uh, turns out I can't open a goo with a busted hand. Whoopsies. <laughs> oh well. Mile six. I caught up to my 145 friend. There he is. He's gonna run PR today. <laughs> it's not bad now. Right. Finally. Okay. Just about halfway done. Yep. So we'll see. A couple hills left, I think. Seven mile check in. I'm still with my friend here. He passed me on that last hill. <laughs> Had to catch up to him. It's downhill now. This is nice. And cooler. It's cooler in the valley here. But over halfway down. Eight miles in. Trying to pick up the pace a little bit. Getting tired. Oh, mile nine. Walking through the water station. Oh, oh man. There she is. Hey. Hey. I'm very tired right now. You got it. Mile ten. I had to put some gum in. I was dying there for a second. 5k left. Woo! How you feeling, babe? That, How you feeling? My crap. Yeah, I hear you. Oh, mile 12. Looks like it's gonna be about a 142 or today. That's all right. Oh, finish this last mile. Turn around. Go get Mac. Finish with her. All right, see you in a little bit. Mile 13, 
Almost done. Cross the finish line. Made it. 146 and change. We'll go find Megan now. Sorry. There she is. Less than a half mile out. What? Don't worry, there's no smell of vision on this. So close. How you feel? You don't need to talk. Woo! <laughs> I feel great, actually. Good. My hip hurts, but. Yeah. I cannot believe I've been rolling like 835. That's great. So, I like, wanted to go sub two really bad. I don't know. It's right up there. See you at the finish line. Again. So I come back to run with her. She makes me carry her water. And then she just takes off. Like the Usain Bolt or something. Oh well. She's doing great. I can be a water boy. I already finished. <laughs> All right, we're post-race here, back at the pilot. Um, it's a pretty good run, so I think it's definitely something we do again. It's a very nice Christmas present that we got. Absolutely. From Grandma Angela, so. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was a good course. It was uh, quite a few people running the 5K and the 10K, not a lot of people ran the half marathon, less uh, like less than 100 people, so. Uh, Megan ran a really good race, so she had a good time, right? 1.57. I went sub two, which was awesome. First race, uh, first half marathon since Hatch Baby, right? That's right, yeah. So, um, yeah, it was good. They had some nice drinks and a little bit of food afterwards and a uh, massage tent, so. We had Bloody Marys. And, uh, yeah, it went really well, so we'll probably be back again sometime. So, Absolutely. to the running store to get some new shoes, and uh, that's probably about it. It's a good day. Oh, yeah, and uh, my body's definitely still in marathon, ultra marathon mode, so felt really good running back, joining Megan there at the end, even though she ran away from me, but. Uh, just had a tough time running faster than that. And I gotta say, running in my cycling hats has been awesome. Works way better than the bandana to keep the hair out of my face and the wind doesn't blow it around. So definitely need to invest in some more uh, cycling hats. So maybe actually running hats. I don't know, I'm sure they make those. So, but it's definitely a good call. Team Squirrel Fighters, Woo! rag rag. <laughs>